So, you're in your 20s. You're not who you want to be, you're not where you want to be, and you don't have exactly what you want. And you feel like your life is ending. I will explain in this video why that is simply not the case after the intro. Whenever you reach Ladies your twenties, you're correct whenever you feel like it's the end. You're right in that a sense, but you're also wrong. You're right in the fact it's the end of your teenage years, your childhood, but it's also the beginning of your adulthood. This is the part of your life where you are transitioning from, you know, being a teenager into an adult. And it can be really scary. It can be stressful. It's terrifying. You know, because you're not where you thought you were going to be. But that doesn't mean you're not going to be where you want to be. You'll notice things like maybe you're not interested in the same TV shows, games, hobbies that you were when you were younger. Instead, you're going to develop new ones. This is the part where, you know, you get to define your life. Your life is not defined by who you were and what you did you know, before your 20s. It is not. Everything you said, did and learned back then, you can now put it into practice. This is the time where you want to start writing down a bucket list. What do you want to do and achieve by the time you reach 25? What do you want to do and achieve by the time you reach 30? And then with each passing day, you can look at that bucket list and you start to work towards them, your goals. That's the way around this. That's what I should have done. It's important to stay in a positive mindset and don't let those bad thoughts bring you down. Your 20s is whenever you get to decide who you are and what you want to do. It's a learning curve. So by the time you're 30, you know, or the time you're 25, you know who you are, what you want to do, and with any luck, if you push yourself hard enough, you will have what you want, or near enough what you want. I didn't get my first job until like three months ago. Before that, I did a lot of volunteering uh, for organisations and never really got paid for it. The odd time I got, you know, volunteering expenses, you know, I was, I was enjoying what I was doing, but I wasn't paid for it because it was voluntary. And I felt, you know, I'm not really happy with this. And I'm not getting what I'm really looking out of it. And I had to move on and let it go on something else. I first applied for a course in creative media and there was a low number of applicants on the course and it was cancelled and I was allocated to a different course that was to do with IT and the reason I was part of that course is because uh, I also have a background in IT I am no IT expert yeah and I felt it was the most suitable one that was appropriate for me to go to and I had to spend nine months doing that course until the media course was up and running again that course I was doing focused specifically on coding and I cannot code to save my life I really can't and I was lucky enough that my classmates were genuinely good people who did help me out with some of the assignments and reminded me of deadlines and all that. But um, it just wasn't for me. And I was stuck there for nine months and I felt, you know, I, I was in a negative mindset. I was turning myself down and it wasn't, wasn't good for me mentally. And when I finished that course, well, when the course ended, I feel the exact opposite. And when I walked out, I have a sense of relief. At the same time, during that course, I was thinking, what if the media course doesn't run again? What if it doesn't? And I have to repeat this course again. Well then what I did was I started looking for the same course in other colleges to see if um, if the one that I was, if, the, if my desired place wasn't going to run the course again, I've got a plan B, a plan C, a plan D. I can go to the other places as well. Yeah, the travel more, but hey, beats being in the IT course I was in. The media course did run and I got what I wanted. I was happy. Um, with the organisation I volunteered at, I started off as a member and I friggin uh, started to develop my interest in film and photography and they noticed that and they would get me to do like slideshows of photographs and videos of all the sessions they had, summer schemes and trips and residentials that they had and it became a thing where I would do this every month or two for them and it would be shown to the other members and staff and all and then they'd be able to take it all home as a memento and over the years this developed um, where to the point I actually started facilitating film projects I facilitated three all together <laughs> and one of them I got funding from the O2 Think Big which was £300 and I used that for the promotional and marketing of the film and the design 
of the DVDs that I did myself, but I just uh, I wasn't paid for it. I did enjoy doing it, I loved doing it, but at the same time, I was, I don't mean it took me on horn, but there's no other way for me to say this here. As a volunteer, I was also, I'll give you an example, where we would go out and try to recruit new volunteers, and I helped to recruit um, two lovely new volunteers, and they, within a year, became paid staff. And I've been there, for, I think, at the time, six or seven years, and I was still a volunteer, doing more than what they did. And I don't mean any offence to them. So I had that, and the course, the stress of that there, where I, just, I wasn't where I wanted to be, I wasn't happy, on my mind. And this led to me, you know, I ended up leaving the organisation after that period because of the way things were. Like my role that I was doing started to be given out to other volunteers, other staff members, like checking the camera, doing photographs and videos and all that stuff. And it's like, <laughs> what are you just doing? Like, this is what I've always been doing for you guys. I'm trained to do this here. I even offered to help train them up on how to use the camera and all, but it's just, uh, they didn't care. You know, and it left a sour taste in my mouth that I felt really bitter and angry at them for a long, long time. And I ended up just leaving because it wasn't valued and appreciated anymore. Now, there is a lot more to this that I don't really want to get into. Um, but uh, that was my quarter life crisis. And I just had to learn, you know, this is the way life is. It's a learning curve. It doesn't always go the way you want it. And, you know, the people that you do when you were young aren't always going to be there. The places that you used to go to when you were younger aren't always going to be there. You never know what's around the corner. Sometimes you have to start X, Y, and Z, and then Z, Y, and X, and then X, Z, W. You have to do that to get to where you want to be. It's all zigzagging. There's no like easy path where you can just go A, B, C. No, life is basically. That's life. That is life. <laughs> It's important to realise, you know, it's easy to compare yourself to other people who may have it all. Um, it's human nature to do that there, but that's actually the wrong attitude to go about it. But it really is. Let's say you have a job, but your friend has a car, they pass their test and everything, and they're driving around. You know, what if they don't have a job? They, you know, the job that they want. And you're looking at them going, you know, they've got a job, they've got a car, I've got a job, I have no car, I have no house of my own. They could be looking at you going, well, you've got a job, I like your job, I've got a car, yes, but I would really love to have your job. And you're looking at them going, you know, you've got a car, you've got a job, I only have a car, I only, I only have a job. You know, it's very easy to do that there. It's very easy to forget the fact that, you know, everybody is comparing themselves with one another. It's important to realise that um, if you want, in order to get what you want, you have to work for it. And just because you're in your early twenties and you don't have what you know what your family and friends have or had whenever they were your age, it doesn't mean that you're never gonna get it. It really doesn't. It took me a long time to realise that there. To come that. And I know there's people out there and I, I've got friends, you know, who feel the exact same way. And I've tried, you know, to explain to them that, you know, it's nothing to worry about. But it didn't help, you know, with the situations that they were in. You know, they felt that there was no light at the end of the tunnel. Whereas I was trying to help them see the light. Um, it's a learning curve that we all must go through. It's not something they can just say and then all of a sudden the light bulb moment clicks in their head and like, I know, you're right, and I'm gonna do this. It's not that easy, is that there? It's not. <clears throat> what I would do? Now, I wish I was 21 again. I do. Because I would do a lot of things differently. But that was through learning and experience and giving this advice out to you guys to help make your 20s a lot more easier and fulfilling. Do not stress over the fact that you're not sitting where you want to be. Do not do that there. Instead, look on the positive side. This is a new beginning where you get to think what you want to do, plan it out, and then each day, you know, set goals for yourself. Achieve those goals. If they don't go the way you want them to, sit down, reevaluate why did that not work the way you wanted it to, and then try again. That's what life is about. There's times I, I, I drank quite a lot as well, you know, to try and get rid of those uh, those worries and fears and it just made me feel worse you know and then when I went off the alcohol and sat and just reapplied myself you know I felt you know better and I was able to adjust more <clears throat> everything that you want to achieve in life what you want to do whether it's to get that house move out get that job you want that dream job or that dream car work for it now save your money 
don't overspend, don't buy things because they look nice, buy things that you actually need. The sooner you do it and apply yourself, the better. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do it all at once. Take your time, because if you rush yourself into it, you're just gonna overdo it. You're gonna burn yourself out quicker. You really are. Take your time. I, I know of somebody that didn't get their first job until they hit 50. Some people don't get married until they're in their 50s. Some people don't get married until they're in their 40s. Some of them get married in their early 20s and they live happily ever after. Some of them don't. You know, there's no um, time limit. There's no deadline as to when you have to achieve your goals and be that right person. You know, the more you think and stress over, if you keep, if you sit in that state of limbo, where you're like, how do I do this here? I'm not good enough. If you keep doing that, you're not going to achieve anything. But whenever you sit down and apply, plan out what you want to do and achieve those goals. You know, you may not be exactly where you want to be, but every time you do that, you're getting one step closer to where you want and need to be. It's not, it's not easy, especially everybody has personal problems going on in their life, you know, whether it be family, friends, work, relationships, everybody has that there. But it's up to you to find, you know, your way around it. You know, the way things are in your own life, just think, what could you do different? What could you do to make things better? How can you work around this? You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. It really wasn't. And that's what you need to keep reminding yourselves of. It's good to push yourself. If you have the energy to do it, go and do it. But then there will be days where you'll feel exhausted. And those days you feel exhausted, take a step back and rest. Relax, read a book, go to the pool, sit in the sun, go to the steam room, go for a walk, go for a run, you know. And just because you're doing that there, don't allow your thoughts to come in and say, you're not doing what you're meant to be doing. You know, you are. You are. You know, you're taking a break, but you're also achieving your goals, you know, day by day. I really hope that what I've said does resonate with a lot of people and actually helps them realize that just because right now you're not sitting and doing what you want to do doesn't mean you've failed at life. There's more to life than friggin' being a millionaire, having that dream home, or, you know, being the best that you can be, there, being the most successful that you can be. There's more to that. You know, there's little things as well, you know, like your family, friends, and relationships, pets. You know, take the time to go and be with them. You know, and it's always good to speak to people, you know, and ask for their advice and guidance. Um, I found when I felt, you know, like I wasn't where I wanted to be, I, I would talk to family members, like grandparents who were like twice my age, you know, or three times, three, four times my age, and asked them their opinion, you know, and, you know, because they, they were young as well, and they've been through it too. They knew what to say, get the words of wisdom. There's no harm in talking to people about it. And then there's people like there who are going through what I went through and that's what inspired me to make this video. My words and my experience can help them realize that you know everything's gonna be okay if nothing to worry about. Don't be afraid just enjoy life and live in the moment. Live in the moment okay because what will happen then if you live in the moment and prioritize yourself and do what you want to do uh, within moderation if you do that there you will look back you know, over the last two to five years, and you'll be like, you know what, I really was living up there. I had it all, and I didn't even know it. You know, it doesn't feel like it right now, it really doesn't. It's more like, it's like those times you never realize you're living in the moment until it becomes a memory. And that is true, that is true. Take photographs, all right? Take selfies with your friends, take videos. Put them on social media. Print those photographs out, stick them up around your room, I have up here. You know, and so whenever you feel on one of those dark days that you're not good enough or you're not where you want to be, look at the photographs and you'll realise, you know, my life isn't meaningless. There is something to it. You are somebody. You know, don't let anybody ever tell you that you're not anybody. Don't ever do that. Don't listen to them. Anybody that ever tells you, oh you can't do this, you're not good enough, shut up. Don't listen to them. Prove them wrong. And even if you do prove them wrong and they still say you're not good enough, cut them out. You don't need that. People they got there don't matter. Fuck them. You know. They have their own problems. Their problems aren't yours. They try to make their problems out to be yours, but they're really not. Just do your own thing. Don't worry. Life is a 
roller coaster of emotions. It really is. And life did not come with instructions. And nobody ever said life was going to be easy. Nobody ever did. And nobody will. It's up to you to take those first steps. And the first step is the hardest to get out there and do something. I'm not saying get everything you want to do right and do it right now. You will burn yourself out if you do that. You really will. So just do it one day at a time. And if you need to take a break for a day or two, maybe even a week, go and do that. Go on holidays. You know, spend some time with friends. Go do something. Have a fun activity. Go play with a cat. <laughs> you know. Go game. Everything you did before your 20s does not define you as a person. It does not. It's what you do now. The next For the next 10 years. You know. It's what you start doing now. That's going to define you. Because those are the years where you're really going to look back and realise. I had the freedom. I had the choices. I didn't make them. I was afraid to make them. And you regret it. But. If you apply yourself. And do something about it now. You look back and realise, I'm really glad that I did what I did. Because if I hadn't, if I had just gave up and moped, I would have missed out a lot. So, write out your plans, your goals, how you're going to achieve your goals, what you need to achieve your goals, get your resources for them. Set a schedule if you need to. What do you want to do by the end of this year? What do you want to do by the end of next year? And don't let anybody ever tell you that you're not good enough. You know, their problem, anybody that says you can't do this, you can't do that there, prove them wrong. Make that a goal as well. Anybody that ever tells you you can't do it is talking about themselves. Because they don't have the confidence to be who they want to be. So they drag other people down to make themselves feel better. People like that there, cut them out. Cut them out. You're worth it. You're good enough. Ignore your detractors. Apply yourself. Take a break as well don't go too much don't, go, don't do too much all right because you will burn yourself out like i did you know i never thought i'd be making motivational videos and vlogs for people you know look where i was i used to make videos of my friends and i causing mischief around the town and now i found a purpose in making vlogs and helping other people even if it means that this vlog gets maybe about 10 views but this vlog helps at least one person I'm happy enough. That's all I care about. I'd love to be a paid YouTuber. Post a video once every two weeks. Live off that. But that's never going to happen. <laughs> not this day. It's definitely not. Don't be afraid to be your own person and do what you want to do. This is the time in your 20s where you get to work towards that. Who you are, who you want to be, what you want to do. This is it. And the more you work on that, there at tech time yourself the better you'll become, the closer you get to the outcome that you're looking to achieve. Don't just sit there and move. I'm 25, I'm 26, I'm 29. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because then, what will happen by the time you're 30, 31, 32, you'll feel worse. If you just focus on the goals of what you want to do, set the rules for yourself and go for it, you'll get there. Maybe not right away, but you will get there. I can guarantee you that. Hard work pays off. And don't be afraid to ask anybody for help. Never be afraid to do that. Even if you feel alone, I, I've been there. I know how it feels. You know, but it's good to talk to other people. Don't be afraid to reach out. I think I've said what I wanted to say. So remember, set your goals. Plan how you're going to achieve those goals. Gather your resources. And then work from there. Bye-bye.